Today we are building the cheapest and most expensive fishing combos at Academy. The challenge, build the best combos we can with the cheapest and most expensive budget and see who can catch the biggest fish. And yes, we have a scale. Since you guys loved the last time we filmed together, the punishment where I had to eat a pickled pig's foot. Oh gosh, why do you keep doing it? <coughs> oh. And threw my guts up in a gas station parking lot. Today we're gonna run that back and do the same thing. So whoever catches the smallest fish has to eat the nastiest thing we can find from a gas station. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fish with Yike Pack YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you subscribe. We are on the road to half a million subscribers oh, by the yeah, end yeah. of the oh, year. What's up? Hey man, <laughs> yeah. I need a picture. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. In the intro. Let's go. That's awesome. Sweet. Heck yeah, Thanks, nice to meet y'all. Yeah, nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Well, that was cool. We always enjoy when stuff like that happens. But like I said, we're on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year. Today, myself and Norm are going inside of Academy and we're gonna build the cheapest versus the most expensive combos we can find. One person gets a hundred dollar budget, the other person gets no budget. We're gonna flip a coin to decide who gets what budget. Norm, call it in the air. Oh, uh, heads. Come on, 50-50 chance. What we got, Trey? Heads, what we got? let's go. Ooh, and it's on heads, baby. All right, Norm, yeah. what budget you going with? Uh, dude, I lose so many challenges, like, off rip. Like, I yeah. always get the worst scenario. Since I won the coin flip, I think I got to get the big budget, man. I feel bad, but I, why nah. don't I choose the worst one, you know? <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Once we get in the store, we will have five minutes to pick all the fishing gear we're going to need for today's challenge. All right, ladies and gents, we're here in Academy now. Timer starts now. All right, I'm on a $100 budget and a five minute time limit, looking for the best combo that I can put together to increase my chances in catching the biggest fish today. Because again, I'm not trying to eat that nasty gas station. Okay. All right, so we've got some Academy rods right here. These are 79, okay. I wanna put together a baitcaster combo in this video because the last time we did this, I put together a spinning combo at Bass Pro. So I'm looking here and I'm seeing you've got like $89, 79, 64, 79, 40, 49. We have a $49 and the rod is 79. So that's already over 100. Our best bet might be to actually go check out the combos themselves and see what we can come up with. All right, guys, so we have no budget on lures, rod, and reels. So what I've been loving lately and just caught some giants on like three days ago was a jackhammer. It's probably the most expensive fishing lure of all time, but also the highest rated. Like everybody knows that jackhammer is the way to go. So I'm going to go with switching it up from my normal white and chartreuse. I'm going to hit them with the old green pumpkin. Might as well get one more color as well because we have no budget. And it's just like, I mean, perfect shit. <laughs> staples in my finger no matter where we go today which i don't know where we're going to go because i've been able to catch fish here at all but we have shadow representation and we have bluegill representation which is all you really need let's find some trailers yeah Ow. all right so we have zaco's which is like my favorite trailer <sighs> i guess we'll go with some of these too and just for the heck of it we got no budget we're gonna get a mag draft i probably won't fish with it but you know if i win this thing get to keep everything i love to add one of these to the collection. 129, that's well over the budget. That would leave me no room for any fishing gear. That's all saltwater stuff. That's a $98. The max. $89. Oh, look at these. Look, look, look. They come with lures. These are the Academy brand. Please give me a good deal. Ooh, 70. Okay, boys, hear me out. Hear me out. We have a combo. We have line already, and we have fishing lures. So if I choose this for $80, I still have $20 left to go actually get some fishing lures. But look, $79 combo. This is a seven foot medium heavy fast. You literally can't get anything better than that. But before I run out of time, I need to go pick some baits out. Chatterbait trailers, if I don't like the green and white ones, we might go with a little bit of a craw trailer. I've been switching it up to this, especially when you're fishing shallow water has more drag so instead of using like a little swim bait that can go deeper you throw like just a craw on there that'll keep you right above the grass so just in case wherever we go it's good help let's go get a rod and reel perfecto blazing worms right here baby boom watermelon speed worms five bucks so right here we have all of the reels i'm looking for like the nicest one it's weird because they got shimano's on top of daiwa like frames I think I just got rid of everything besides Shimano, which I'm not complaining about. So I think what I'm gonna do, gosh, I have some of these. 
I have one of those, but I don't have the Corrado MGL 150XG for $209. Now we gotta find a rod to put it on. We just gotta wait for them to come unlock the reel for us. <sighs> Looking at the rods. They got Dobbins, Ducket, Daiwa. So good options, 139. Uh-oh. <laughs> they have the SLX rod, and they got a massive one. Seven foot five, medium heavy, really good worm and stick. Also really good for probably like frogs, top water, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna try this one out. It's two different things, a brand new reel and a brand new rod. Highest budget, feeling good. Now that I got all my stuff and we have bullet weights and hooks on the car, we're gonna go ahead and go fishing. We'll see you guys at the pond. Norm just taxed me for a smooth follow. Oh, dude, dollars. first of all, first of all, it's $400. <laughs> and to be fair, at the end of the day, you got a nice rod and reel combo. It's not like I wasted it. Like, we got some good stuff. Hey, what am I supposed to do with an expensive budget? Spend not $400? <laughs> I feel like, dude, look at this thing out in the sun, man. I think that green is dope. It's like, it's not too much, but if you look at it close, I think that's a cool looking combo. I don't know, I feel like we did pretty good. I mean, out of everything in there, I mean, the Shimano's were the nicest, you know, and they had the $200 ones. And I mean, it was a $300 rod of real combo, which I think, I don't know, I think you're gonna be grateful for this thing, man. I might even let you have a cast with your own stuff. <laughs> All right, boys, we're here at the first spot, and Trey says that he wants to participate in this challenge. You always, you already know. I already know the deal. All right, how much is your combo? Because though you're not really like, you didn't do the whole store thing like us, but if you wanna participate, you, you do understand though, if you lose, you still have to eat something disgusting from the gas station. I mean, I'm here, so <laughs> just don't lose. There you go. <laughs> so how much is your combo? Cause this is kind of a cheap versus expensive thing. So uh, the real, I think it's about 250 and the rod retails for around 180, I believe. So, so 250 and 180, quick math. Quick math. Two, oh, 250, oh, you're putting me on the spot. Dude. 250, that's like 180. It's like 430, right? Yeah, 430. I think, I think we're pushing like four or 500 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Acceptable for this challenge. Yeah, dude, his, his is like a hundred some odd dollars more than my combo is. Dang. <laughs> All right, Trey, if you lose, ah, you, hey, you did this to yourself, Trey. You did it to yourself. Gosh, Trey, please lose so I don't have to eat anything nasty, please. Nah, I'm gonna leave that losing part to TJ. <laughs> uh oh. Not with me and my handy dandy speed worm, you're not. <laughs> and my brand new Academy combo that I almost backlashed. Dude, already. I'm gonna check out this dock, man. Brand new dock out here. All right. Guys, we also have no idea if there's fish like alive in here or not, so that'll be fun to figure out. I feel like I should take cast before I even walk up on this. Gosh, I got a giant. I wish I would have known I was coming here. I would not have bought a giant worm. First cast with the old brand new reel and rod combo. I like it. I mean, I can sling this thing far. That's what happens when you get like a seven foot five. Normally, I'm just like a seven foot three for pond fishing. But when you got like a ton of open area, you don't got to worry about casting in the trees or breaking your rod. I mean, the longer you go with like a worming rig, the farther you can cast. So I prefer that. And honestly, the better the hook set too. I'm about to just go ahead and get my first little cast out of the way just to make sure. Ooh, smooth with the Academy combo. That was a little pitch though. Every time I get a new combo, I like to do that right there. Like a little uh, a little pitch out, get a new combo or a new reel or something like that. I wanna make sure that I don't just backlash it and destroy it right off the rip. So the little pitch felt good. So let's give it a little test cast. Perfect, now loosen everything up. That's what I like to do. Start everything super tight and then loosen everything up and then it's good to go. All right, well, the boys are both walking down the peninsula, which is a fantastic spot. Honestly, probably my favorite on the whole pond, but I'm gonna walk around this right side just to see. The water's super, super shallow. Normally, I mean, it's it's three, four foot higher. So a lot of the spots that used to be good might be too shallow to be good now. So we might have to try a lot of deep casts with the old magworm. And this thing is gigantic. And Yak only had three uh, EWGs in his <laughs> uh, truck. I really probably should have bought some six or seven knots at the store. Oh, this grass is tall too. I've seen so many water moccasins and alligators at the spot. Do not like this one bit. This looks like it's the H2OX Premier Combo. Six bearings, uh, seven, seven, three to one. Probably a, I'd have to guess 12 pound line because it did come with uh, some soft plastics. So I would assume it'd be 10 or 12 pound line. I don't know if it said it on the package or not. I forgot to read it, but either way, 10 or 12 should be fine. I just got hung up on some weeds out there and this does not feel like a medium fast. Medium heavy, moderate fast. 
Okay, that's one. I thought it was medium heavy fast. So you can definitely tell the difference in the fast versus a moderate fast. Moderate fast feels, for lack of a better word, more flimsy. So it's definitely not a fast tip, but moderate fast, that's okay. I prefer to fish that kind of stuff, like a moderate fast. I'd rather have like a, a treble hook lure rather than a uh, something I gotta set the hook hard on. Just slow. See how far out there we can get. Dude, that's crazy. Like it's launching, it's casting very good and the brakes are still very tight on this thing. Mm, not a fish. We're on a mission today, gentlemen. Probably gonna end up having to uh, swap spots quite a few times because it is uh, early summer fishing. It's got kind of uh, kind of tough out here. It's just, you know, it's a beautiful day today. It's low 80s, but still, what is that? Oh, thought I had a bite. Did I have a bite? Definitely looks like I had a fish. Oh, never mind. Didn't have a bite. But yeah, we're going to do some spot switching today at some point just because early summer fishing, fish are going to be real finicky. So you got to find the ones that want to bite. Just fish real slow, slow and methodical. Just give it to them. Give it to them how they want it. Yeah, as one time in high school, I walked up here. It's like a dead eight foot alligator sitting in this little damn thing. So every time I walk up to it, I'm a little scared. And we're good. <laughs> there was like an eight foot gator just chilling in that. All right. A little sketchy standing spot. I mean, that gets kind of deep. Cast at them pads. All I'm going to do, guys, is fan cast. So we'll start here. Oh, no, I got hydrilla on it. We'll start casting that way. Work our way and just, uh, just fish everything. A lot of times in ponds when there's not a lot of water, I mean, they either got to be shallow or they got to be deep. So fish both of them. It's way easier to figure out where they are than in a lake. I've not heard the guys hooting and hollering yet, which is good and bad. Oh, I got one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I had no idea. I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, boat flip, baby. That's that grass I told y'all was tricking me. Holy smokes. All right. Well, since this is my first fish, every fish does in fact count. So though it may seem counterintuitive, I am going to throw this on the scale. So let's see. We are in. Are we zeroed out? Zeroed out. Let's see what you got, big dude. 0 0.34. 0 0.34. I can see Norm. I can see Trey. Neither one of them have caught a fish. So, so far, 0 0.34 has taken the lead. If I win this challenge with a 0 0.34 pound fish, I'm actually gonna, well, I'll eat something nasty too. First fish on the new combo, definitely uh, didn't feel too bad, but I'd like to catch something a little bit bigger than that before I start making judgments on the, uh, the H2OX combo here. Two bass right here. Oh, he's swimming towards it. Oh my gosh, he's right behind it, I think. Yep. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Literally sight fished him. That was crazy. Holy smokes. All right. Not bad. Not a bad first one. I think he's going to go bigger than uh, Yak's .34. We're just about to switch spots too. And I uh, was just walking back. I saw some wake. Walked over here. Don't even have sunglasses on or anything. And just saw him sitting there. Just not even moving. Went straight for the craw. Had to switch it up from the big old worm because I just figured if Yak was catching a .34 that there was nothing really giant in here. Oh, all right. All right. All right this one might go .5. Let's see. Nope. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, almost .5. 0 .44 pounds. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm going to run down, let him back, give him the proper release. It is, uh, it is pretty hot out here, so... Gotta get him back quick. All right, well, cool. Cool, I'm on the board with a 0. .44 pounds, which somehow puts me in first place. I am cool with that. <laughs> well, while I'm down here, I'm gonna try one more cast. <laughs> you can't end it on a fish catch, you never can. All right, let's see. I feel like something maybe like that. Dang. Oh, I just got bit again. Got her, got her, there we go, next cast. Oh my gosh, that's way bigger. <laughs> Let's go. Holy smokes. Not like giant, but it's definitely, definitely up there. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes. Oh, I do not want to eat gas station nasty food, and you are going to help me a little bit, I think. Next cast. That is ridiculous. Right under that mat over there. 
This one might go a pound and some change. Might be a two pounder. All right, drop my jackhammer out of my pocket. I'm gonna need that for later. I was so not gonna take another cast too. I was just gonna end it and go run to the truck. Holy smokes. All right, come on, girl. Don't, don't, don't stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop, stop. Gosh, this scale likes to set so quick. Stop, 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 stop it. All right, zero it out. 2.32. All right, all right, all right, okay. 2.32, it just switched like three times, but you guys probably saw it for a second. 2.32 pounder, not a bad one, right after a 0.44. Let's go, dude. Nice, on the cross too. Thank you, buddy. Okay, now I really can't end it on that. Gosh, I was just throwing out these mats out here, kind of like the deepest water in this little uh, side of the pond. Like, I don't even know what you'd really call it, but throw them right onto those mats. They got a place to protect themselves from birds, from the sun. So you guys know bass can't blink. So they like to stay in shade as much as possible, especially in those warmer months. So I might even throw this little craw on that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Might take a few more casts. He, he got his mark on me though. He cut me up good. Yes, okay. Two fish back to back. All right, this one right here is for all the marbles. It's got some lily pads blown in with some of these mats. I don't know, I feel like if I was a fish, I'd be hanging out under there. It's just like, it's probably only like two foot of water. That's the only problem. But there's not a lot of spots for him to hide. Gosh, I was like, yeah, I knew it. Got her, got her. Big and big and I think. Big and way better. Oh yeah, not a bad one at all. <laughs> I just had a feeling. God dang, son. Oh my gosh, a four pounder followed it up. I hope the GoPro got that. One like double, triple the size of this one was just right behind it. God dang, son. Oh my gosh. A oh, he's right there, he's right there. All right, I gotta let this one go. It might even be bigger than my last, but I'm gonna let this one go. There's one under this mat that's like four or five pounds. Holy smokes. Oh, oh there she is, there she is, there she goes. Please, 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 please. Please, she was like right here. Gosh, dang it, why is the small one gonna bite? All right, we'll go back there. Gosh, I don't even know that fish saw me. I don't know if you guys saw it on the GoPro, like a four or five pounder came up here, came swimming back through here. Gosh, of course I would hook like the two pounder. You kidding me? Oh, that, that felt a little dangerous. Dang, all right, well the cross slaying it. I feel like people don't really throw the craw around here. They always throw worms. It's a little bit of a styled switch up. Start getting you them bites. All right, boys, spot number two. Norm's got a two, two and a half pounder, I believe he said. Um, I have a 0.34 pounder and Trey has an absolute zero. He's got a goose egg on the scale right now. So hopefully we can keep it like that because I ain't trying to eat nothing nasty today. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. No. Oh my gosh, dude, I just snapped my rod. That's so lame. Barely even yanking on it. Where did it even go? It's in the water. Is it? Oh my God, good thing I got the receipt, Norm. <laughs> dude, I was just going like this. Get another rod on the car? No. Oh my gosh. No, I'm trying to, no, Trey took him out earlier. Why? Dang you get it. out of the way before it breaks in my face. Dang it, man. Well, that stinks. Bro, I was barely even yanking on it. God. Awesome. Well, cool. Lost my chatterbait and broke my rod in one cast. Dude, there goes $100 for the rod and $20 for a chatterbait. Well, now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> you fish it broken, I guess. Dang it. You're for sure there's not another or a rod in the car. If it was, it'd be where you were sitting. Did you see one there? Because I, I don't think I, I did. I don't remember. Golly, that stinks so I'm almost so positive hard. he took him out today. I mean, I'll have to go get another chatterbait anyways, but. Did you uh, did you bring that? Do we have any other rods in the truck? Nor just broke his. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I uh, just, I don't know. Just He set the hook on like 11 pounder and it just snapped. All right. 
Nothing? No, nah, he's oh. he took it out earlier. Why do we do that every time? I don't know. We never let him around with 60 rods, but today Trey decided to take the other one out. Gosh dang it. Dang, I can't believe Norm just literally just broke his rod. We just was at Academy an hour ago. Not the rod's fault, not Norm's fault. Sometimes it just you just get a, a bad rod out of a batch or something. It happens. Everybody's broke a rod before. Well guys, went up to the truck, got my other chatter bait. Didn't realize I bought a stealth blade, which I do not like these little clear ones. They just don't seem to swim right or like make the same vibration. And on top of that, snapped my rod off like halfway through. Just, I mean, just popping it. I, every single time I realized I bought a Shimano rod, I broke it within the first fishing trip without fail. I don't know, people seem to love them. I just can't get one that doesn't break. But I'm really bummed out because I was really excited to fish this spot like, I don't know, just a new spot to try. Had that beautiful jackhammer on. I saw some bluegill swimming around. I had the perfect one that matches color. And now I got a shad self blade with a stick that I don't even know if this thing's going to be able to cast. <laughs> dang it. Dang it, dang it. I just got to hope that these two guys don't catch anything bigger than two, three, four, whatever my big one was. So I don't have to eat anything nasty. Or I get really lucky on the, on the chatterbait. But I don't know. Normally you want a little bit of rod tip play so it can swim right dang it oh boy let's go i finally got a bite and it's a freaking tiny one. That was fun to swing on though. Ugh, I couldn't skunk. That was uncalled for. Dang, I wish she was like at least seven pounds bigger. Thanks for the bite though. Appreciate that. Yeah. Weigh him? Yeah. Just to make sure. Might save you, dude. That might move you up a second. 0.34 is all I got to beat. All right. Dude, Here I was thinking go. I was going to skunk. I can't even remember the last time I've skunked. You ready? Yep. Uh-oh. Is it in there? Yep. Yeah, don't do the thing. Oh, dude, 0.72. Let's go. You're Second chilling. place. <laughs> Officially marked safe. Heck yeah. Safe for now. <laughs> safe for, yeah, safe for now. Thank you, buddy. You saved my streak of not getting skunked and i'm comfortably in second place by about 0.3 pounds appreciate it <sighs> well boys it's been a it's been a tough day of fishing uh norm has lost two 20 dollar jack cameras and broke his 100 dollars shimano rod that we just bought at academy uh trey i believe has caught one i heard him hooping and hollering so i assume he caught something but we're gonna keep fishing until the sun goes down we got a couple hours left and uh hopefully we can end up with a biggin on the end of our line. All right, well, boys and girls, I am trying my hardest. I had like that three fish, boom, boom, boom. But now, the short rod that's scraping, afraid to cast too hard, it's, um, it's not the best. Got one, got one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jeeva, if I can't set the hook with a broken rod and reel. Dang it. Basically caught him though. He hit land. I think he flopped back in. Golly, that's why you always flip right before you right before you get to land, you spook a fish, just toss right onto the bank. Just like if you're in a boat, you'd always be casting close to the shore as you could. Dang it. There's so much bait down here too. Makes sense. Golly. Didn't want to set the hook too hard and just snap my line instantly. At least it wasn't like a giant giant. It wasn't going to beat my, my two and a half pounder. I got one. Oh, let's go. Yes, dude. In the brush right there. All right. What, what did Trey's weigh? Oh, this ain't going to cut it, dude. I don't see this one being a 0.74 or 0.73. I really don't even see it being a 0.5, but we're gonna put it on the scale because it is gonna be over what my first one was, I believe. 
right, let's see. 0. 0.40. Uh oh. Uh oh. 0. 0.40. Oh, there's a big spider right there, and I'm terrified of those. 0. 0.40. Not gonna cut it for a solidified second place. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again. Here we are again, eating some nasty stuff. So, Trey just informed me behind the camera, but in the back of the truck on the way to this gas station, he almost threw his fish back without putting it on a scale. That saved him and about four ounces of fish. I don't know how much your fish weighed. Do you remember, Trey? He was not big. He's like 0.75. Biggest, point, okay, well, the biggest one I caught was like 0.42. So, we caught some giants today call some freaking megas today we were on them boys we were on them so we're gonna go in here and trey and norm are gonna pick out something nasty for me to eat again again <laughs> <laughs> let's go trey oh norm what should we get <laughs> no, i haven't been to this one yet so i don't know what's nasty here he likes candy so yeah you gotta, candy. Get, you gotta get out the candy aisle Oh man, dude, I really hate these. Lemon flavor? They're disgusting, dude. I bet so. Here's all really good when they got nothing bad, Yak. You might get, you might be able to sneak out of this one. I mean, they got the pickled sausage. Like pink, but I don't, I don't even know if that'd be bad. That might be good. Dude, I'm feeling some of this canned stuff over here. Yeah, it's gotta be in a can, that's for sure. Some of that, some of that. Uh, expires in like 15 years or doesn't expire. There's banana chips. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like that would be that bad though. That might be good too. You find anything? Oh, dude, I hate yeah. Reese's, man. Yeah, those are gross. You're gonna have to drink a whole thing of pain and fever medicine. Oh, no. Hydrogen peroxide. Oh, God. Hey, you know you can whiten your teeth with that. Oh, dude, fish steak. Ooh, that sounds good. Soybean oil you and like hot green steak. chilies. Oh, dude, they got Louisiana. They got Louisiana hot sauce. They got soybean oil with hot green chilies. It's like, I don't know, mustard sauce. Ooh, green chilies. You love green chilies. I I mean, yeah, I know. You <laughs> I was do. trying to finesse you. Should we do it, Trey? I don't think there's anything worse unless we like made a drink with them, put donuts in it or something. No, no secret formulas. <laughs> no secret formulas. Yeah, I think this is it, dude. I think that we hold up what is oh that's okay. Oh Norm, I just had an idea. We can make it sweet for him. He loves <laughs> flavored. Cabinet. Is that fair? I don't know, I feel like that won't be too bad. I might actually be surprised you and be good. I ate like anchovies one time, didn't think I was gonna like them. They're actually not bad. It's just the thought of them is scary. Alright. Fish sticks, mustard flavor, and if you wanna add some grape flavored Kool-Aid on there. <laughs> As Trey would say, just get better. Mustard sauce, fish steaks, and the purple Kool-Aid. Yeah, I'll give you the honors. Do you want the purple Kool-Aid in or no? Do you think that'll help it or make it worse? Dude, y'all bought it for me, so I gotta do it. All right. Oh, I'm gonna open it for you. Gosh, dude. Dude, I gotta stop. I promise you we'll never. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. I'm never doing this again with you guys. <laughs> Thank goodness, dude. I feel like my luck is just... Oh, <laughs> dang it. Well, well, don't do that. <laughs> Golly, man. Smell it. I, I, yeah, I, I can smell it. I, you don't even got to smell it to smell it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's tough. This is only $2.49, though, so I don't know. It might be good. So We got our grape Kool-Aid here. It's honestly a shame to waste Kool-Aid like this. But I don't know. We'll go half a pack so we can save half for some water at the house. Actually, we'll do half here. I'll even hook you up with some of the water. A little bit of Kool-Aid in there so you can wash it down with some Kool-Aid. Gosh, that looks terrible, dude. I'm not even gonna. Dude, there's no like. There's nothing else to say besides that's just not. That's just not cool. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch. You're about to watch him eat it, and you're about to watch him put it on the cement. <laughs> you have a weak stomach? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's, um... Get it. We put half the Kool-Aid in there, half the Kool-Aid in here. Number one, I don't like mustard. And number two, I don't like whatever the hell <laughs> this is. I would I, not either. I think you got to swallow it, too, unfortunately. It might be really good, man. It looks it looks tasty. Mm. I need a cracker to put it on. <laughs> put that on a cracker, dude. 
What are these fish steaks and mustard sauce with grape Kool-Aid? Come on, buddy, you can watch this. Yeah. <laughs> you got an yeah don't, don't lose a bet. Don't lose a bet. <laughs> don't lose bets, cause and yeah. be a man of your word. For when you do lose a bet, you have to man up. do this. Oh, Norm. It smells like grapes. I need you it's to like... carry I need you to carry the outro after this, okay? Because I'm not you, gonna man. be able to. Let me get this piece right here. Oh god. Are there bones in this? Mm -mm. No, no, no. no. <sighs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Take it, yeah, you got it, you got it. Dude, you're turning red. <laughs> you got it. Why are you still chewing it so, get it down. Oh, God. <laughs> I swear I hate you guys. <laughs> and I hate my ability to be able to catch fish. <sighs> All you gotta do next time is catch a .7 pounder and that, that would have been true. Well, that's not even good. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't gonna be good afterwards. All right, well guys, thank you for watching today's video. Yakfax trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so make sure you subscribe to him. Um, yeah, that's two times in a row. Yak is ate the most disgusting thing in the gas station. So I may be third time's the charm. You guys hit 5,000 likes, we'll do it again. And, um, he's saying no. All right, 6,000 likes, we'll do it again. And, yeah, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys in the next fishing adventure. Fish bump, I'm out of here.